Welcome back to Little Rockers Radio. I'm Craig Harper, and now I'm very excited to introduce my next guest. His name's Sam Moran. You might have seen him up the front of the Wiggles. Um, up a up I bet you hate that, mate. But anyway, uh, I think he was the yellow skivvy guy. I'm not sure. I'll ask him. Hi, Sam. Hello. How are you? You are absolutely right. I was the yellow. Yellow, dude. Well, I'm, a, I'm like a, a childless man, so I'm probably the worst person to guess, but it was good that I knew that. You did. You did know that at least. Now, what are you up to these days, Tiger? You're just out there with the masses, just educating and entertaining and informing and connecting with the little ones? Absolutely. I've got a new show now on Nick Jr. every day in Australia, and it's um, no yellow skid anymore. Now it's a safari suit all the way. <laughs> what's, what's the thinking with the safari suit, Sam? Well, I'm going on a musical adventure, of course. Oh, giddy I'm up. going on a musical adventure and I need the children's help. So I need their help to, um, on, the, on that adventure. Fantastic. And that's on Nick Jr. When, when is that on? Daily? Uh, every, every day between 10 and 12 and 6 and, and, and six o'clock at night as well, I think. Fantastic. Now tell, us, between ab- shows. tell us about your album, uh, Play Along With Sam. The, the album is um, all, the, all the songs from the series from yeah. Play Along With Sam and it's... Um, 20 new songs, and we're actually getting ready to record new, some new songs now for season two of Play Long Sam, so that we're, getting, that we're going to film about a month's time. So um, there's going to be a new album coming out in a few months' time as well. Fantastic. Now, a little bit of background. How, how long have you been doing the, the entertainment stuff with the kids? How did you get into it, and, and what do you get out of it? Because clearly you're good at it, and clearly you love it. I, I certainly love it. Um, you know, it's one of those. It's one of those things. I started studying music education while I was at the City Conservatorium of Music. Yeah, I was studying classical voice. La la la. Yeah. And, and then, um, and then I started working with the Wiggles um, during that time. And I yeah. worked with the Wiggles. I worked with the Wiggles for about ten years. Yeah. Um, and now I've got my own show on Nick Jr. After the, um, so it's kind of all come full circle. I get to bring all that music education knowledge of mine and bring it into a show uh, and that entertains as well as educates. And I guess, well, the, the TV stuff would be fun, but there wouldn't be anything like the instant gratification of working with a live audience and having that response, I guess. You are absolutely right. Live shows is exactly where it's at for me. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm in a studio recording songs for children. Yeah. There's no children around. It's just me being silly. And and TV and on you know, a TV set as well is exactly the same. It's me pulling faces and doing silly things. And the response is usually crickets in the rest of the studio. <laughs> so, but when we get to the when we get to the live tours, that's when it's um, that's when I have the most fun because I get to see the children responding to the, to the songs and and singing and dancing along and and just having a great and see them their smiling faces. But not only their smiling faces. The, the parents' smiling faces too. They get to enjoy the show as well and they get to enjoy their children, watching their children have a great time. You're listening to Little Rockers Radio. I'm Craig Harper chatting with Sam Moran. So I guess it's a, it's a little bit of like a lot of industries and fields. It's a little bit of trial and error. So you go, I've got an idea, I've got a concept, I've got a new song. But until you take it for a little bit of a test drive with real humans, albeit they yep. small, you, you, you don't really know what's going to happen until you get out there and do it. Well, fortunately, you know, fortunately, I have been doing this for a while now that I have a pretty good intuition of what's yeah. going to uh, what's going to work and not. But um, so there's not too many misses. Yeah. Uh, but I but I I still do run everything by my own four year old daughter. Yeah. Uh, she's my own little test audience that I have at home. But so if I've got a new a bunch of new songs, I'll I'll bring it home and with her and her friends over, and I'll just put let you know play it in their room, and then I'll leave the room and let them just explore the music. If they come running out after they finish and say, "Can you put the music back on?" Then I know I know I know I'm onto something. We call that Sam's version of laboratory testing. There you go. Uh, so when you when you're um, coming up with a concept or a show or even just a single song, is it yeah. is it is it all about having fun and connecting, or is there do you want also there to be an educational element to it, or is it is it hit and miss, or how do you figure it out? Uh, it's it's lots of different things. Like sometimes you it depends on where you start. Sometimes we start with okay, I want to do a counting song. I, want, I need a counting yeah. song for this thing. or And so we'll start and I'll start on that and go from there. Or it might be just a song that I might just have a really catchy tune in my head and then I'll start 
you know, wondering, well, what sort of song could this be? Could it be a dancing song? Could it be, a, you know, a song about colours? Could it be? And so I, and that, um, and so the song then dictates, you know, what the song's about. So there is lots of different ways for that, but it really it, on each of those things, um, I always go back to what's in it for the child and yeah. what are they getting out of it? Because it's very easy to get sometimes self-indulgent as an adult and um, making things that, that are fun for you to make. But it doesn't mean that it's fun for the child. So I always uh, I re, you know, reassess after I've, I've made something and say, well, what's in it for them? What are they getting out of it? That is a great question because, I mean, the music business is a pretty <laughs> ego-based business and it can be at times. And I guess really it, it's it's about finding a way to connect with the kids and, and having music and messages that resonates with them um, and, and also maybe creates a, a positive effect as well. Absolutely. That's it's all, that's I mean that's the secret ingredient right there is just understand seeing the world through their eyes. Yeah. And um and engaging through them through their life rather than talking down to them or um you know telling them what they should be doing. <laughs> it's about uh, it's about you know explain you know exploring or having fun with them on on a level that they understand and they enjoy. Hey Sam, we want to uh, thank you for taking a little bit of time today to chat with us on Little Rockers Radio. This is the time. This is the time where you give a, a shameless plug or two to anything that you want. We've got a lot of listeners, and a lot of mums and dads and kids who uh, will be uh, interested to hear what you're doing and and to to follow you. Absolutely. Well, I'm on tour now. These school holidays, I'll be all around Australia at all the, um, most of the capital cities and some regional New South Wales as well. So just go to slash events and you'll see where I'm going to be. Giddy up, Buttercup. No more skivvy for this bloke. It's the uh, the safari gear. So, mate, we appreciate you taking the time. Great luck with the tour and everything we do. We think you're a superstar and thanks for joining us on Little Rockers Radio. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sam. Guys. Take care, man. That was Sam around there. He was good, wasn't he? For more info on today's conversation, just head to Little Rockers Radio website and Facebook pages. Visit littlerockersradio.com.au. I'm Craig Harper.